Hello everyone, my name is Trevor McFadden and today I will be attempting to recite by memory Psalm 19. The version I'll be using is the English Standard Version, so here I go. The heavens above declare the glory of God. The sky above proclaims His handiwork. Day to day pours out speech and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words, whose voice is not heard. Their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and like a strong man runs its race with joy. Runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them, and nothing is hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More are they to be desired than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey, and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in them is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Declaring innocent from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgressions. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. That has been Psalm 19. And I just want to um, kind of share a little something. Um, I don't want this to kind of be just another memorization video. I also want to have a little quick devotion about this too. So, Psalm 19 is about God and how He created all this stuff. He created the sun. Uh, the sun runs its course with joy, and He also created His law, His His commands. Um, what David is writing here is he is writing that God's law is perfect. His law is perfect, and what God creates is beautiful. Um, you can see that all creation, all of creation, praises God, whether that be the sky above or the sun itself. All of creation praises God, and even God's law is perfect. Now, contextually speaking, uh, David is referring to the Old Testament. Uh, specifically, he is referring to the old laws, the Mosaic laws. And he is referring to those ones found in Leviticus and all those other laws. But he calls them perfect. 
He says in verse 7, The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. When we follow God, we follow His law, we are revived. Not because we do anything, but because we find that God knows what's best for us. And He knows that when we follow Him, we'll basically be better off than not following Him. So the takeaway, the main takeaway here is, takeaways I should say, is number one, God is creator. God created the sky and basically everything in creation praises and gives glory to God. Number two is that we have a God who cares about us and who has laws in place for us to follow. For instance, when Jesus talks about do not murder, and he goes and expounds on that, and how that talks, and how he's talking about not murdering your mind. He knows what's best for us. He knows exactly what's best for us, and what we need in the moment. So, um, I thought I'd like to kind of give a quick devotion after this. So, yeah. That will be all. Thank you so much. God bless.